In this video, I will show you how to work with the pleats fold tool and the pleats sewing tool. Let's start with an empty screen. We just need an avatar and we're going to make a pleated skirt for this avatar. So let's go first to the 2D window. We'll start by creating our own pattern pieces. So come to the polygon tool and select rectangle. Now you can left click somewhere close to her waistline, left click once to get the pop-up menu. And we're going to create our own dimensions. For width, we're going to type 6 inches. For the height, we're going to do 2 inches. So this is basically a quarter of our waistband. So that's our first pattern piece. You can come and grab it with the transform pattern tool and align it to be to one side of her waistline. And you can do the same for the 3D. So we're starting to organize our pattern pieces from the very beginning. Then come back to the 2D window. That was a waistband. And now we're going to create the skirt piece. So back to the rectangle. Make sure you have rectangle selected here. And left click once in the screen. And this time we're going to give it 6 inch width. And the length of the skirt could be anywhere from 12 to 20 inch. I'm going to give it 16. So click 16 inches and you have your next pattern piece. That's a part of our skirt. This will be good enough for one of the rotations of the folds. So let's come also to the 3D window. Also arrange our pattern pieces, get organized from the very beginning. And now we can come back to our pattern piece for the skirt and start giving it dimensions for the pleats. So select the add point split line tool and then come and right click on the top line right click to get the pop down menu and here click on uniform split select the number of segments we want to have five segments five equal segments so again we right clicked only on the top line we got the drop down menu we clicked on uniform split and number of segments is five. Click OK. And now we have five equal segments up on top. Now come to the Edit Pattern tool, and we're going to drop five internal lines from these points. So click on the first dot. And then hold the Shift. Now we need to select and create. Now we need to create four internal lines here. So we're going to come to internal polygon line, click on that, and we're going to drop down four equal lines to create the five segments. So left click on the top point, hold the shift key so you have a perfectly straight line. Come all the way to the down, left click, and then click the return key to finish one line. Let's repeat that for every single one. Left click on the point, hold the shift key for a perfectly straight line. When you get to the bottom, left click once, click the return, and repeat that two more times. Make sure you're clicking return to finish every line. Hold the shift for a straight line. And now we have five equal segments. Now we need to uh, create two more pattern pieces so that we have enough for all of our pleats. So each pleat, we need three different equal sections. So come to the pattern, transform pattern tool and copy the whole pleat pattern without the waistband. You can click copy and paste and just paste two more of these. Now that we have these three pattern pieces, we need to merge them. So come to Edit Pattern Tool, get close to the lines, and just click, left click on the two lines that you want to merge, right click and merge, and then the same for the next two. And we're creating one pattern piece with the equal selections of the splitting. So I'm going to align this a little better come to my 3D window, this one's perfectly aligned. And you can see that where we merge, we don't have an internal line. So we need to create that. 
So that is our one, two, three, four, fifth line. One, two, three, four, fifth line. So from each side or from the middle on, it's one, two, three, four, fifth line. So each one of these fifth line, which was our merge line, needs to be traced as an internal line. So let's come to our trace tool, left click on it, and carefully select the fifth line. One, two, three, four, fifth. Right click on it and trace as internal line shapes. Left click on that. And then one, two, three, four, five. Select that line, right click, and traces internal lines slash shapes. And that will create that too. And let's just make sure that we have this line here. It looks like it didn't quite trace it, so I'm going to trace. Let me check my history and make sure that I didn't trace this twice. So yes, I traced it twice. So I'm just going to go back in history to um, make sure that I didn't trace the line twice. I don't need two lines there. Okay. So now that I have these three pieces, we can come to the pleat creation tool and we can create our pleats. So left click on the pleats tool. The pleats tool is now in your hand. And you need to click in the very beginning of the pattern and double click at the end of the pattern, inside of the pattern. And you will get this drop down menu where you need to select what kind of folds do you want. Let's work with the knife pleats to begin with. Number of eternal lines should be three, not two. And here you notice that they're already giving us the correct fold line, fold angles. That's zero and 360. Those are the angles that we already know that will create the peak and the valley of each pleat. And it will tell us that the outside fold will have a red line, the inside fold will have this teal blue line. Click OK and watch the pattern transform into our pleats lines. Now we are ready to sew this piece onto the top pattern piece. And let's select the pleat sewing tool and then come to the top piece first. Left click in the beginning, left click in the end, and then come to the bottom, left click at the bottom and carefully drag your mouse and go to the end and double left click at the end and that creates all of the sewing lines. So we can go to the 3D window and double check if this is correct. I would right click on the waistband piece, freeze that piece so it doesn't fall on the floor. And then you can also strengthen the bottom piece and click simulate. And that created our pleats and attached it to the waistband line. You can also unstrengthen if you want to see what this looks like, simulate one more time and you will see the soft pleats appear. Now we have a one quarter of our skirt. We need to copy and create the rest of the pattern pieces. For that, let's go to the 2D pattern window and we need to copy the pattern pieces and create the rest of them. So click on transform pattern tool, select all of the pattern pieces, the waistband and the skirt, right click and copy, and then right click and paste and place this piece on the other side of her and that will complete our front piece. Now we need to merge these pattern pieces. So let's bring this one closer to the waistband. Come to the edit pattern tool. Left click select the two lines that need to be merged then right click and select merge. And that will bring these two pattern pieces together. At this point, you can also remove any unwanted points, any unwanted lines, anything that you don't feel. I'm going to leave this. It will be my guide for center front line. I'm just going to align it a little better. And you can also here merge this pattern or sew it together. Let's see if we can merge it. Uh, it shows us two different pattern shapes. So I'm just going to sew the pattern pieces together. So I selected the segment sewing tool, 
left click on one, left click on the other piece, and let's take a look in the 3D window. And so this needs to be at this point unfrozen. So I'm gonna right click on it, I'm gonna unfreeze, but I will add a couple of pins so it doesn't fall. So I'm gonna hold W and place a pin here and then simulate. So that brought the other pattern piece next to me and I'm gonna place it and I'm gonna click spacebar one more time to freeze it in space. And you can also add another uh, pin if you like. So I'm going to hold W and click to add another pin. Click simulate and lift this up again. Click the space bar, then hold W and left click again to add one more pin just for now so we can see what this looks like. I'm going to click simulate. And just take a look at my pleats. I want to make sure that this is correct and it looks good. And yes, it does look good. So we have half of our skirt. We need to go to the 2D pattern window and duplicate and create the other part of the skirt. So come to our transform pattern tool, select all of the pattern pieces, copy and paste, and this will give us the back side of the skirt. So let's go to the 3D window. We see that our pattern piece is to the side. I'm gonna bring it here at this point i can remove the pins we don't need them anymore so i'm going to right click on one of them and delete either the selected or all pins i don't need any of the pins the other thing that you can notice is that this piece is inside out so i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to flip horizontally so that's going to transform but i need to do that to all of the pattern pieces not just one of them so I'm going to come and select all of my pattern pieces, which will go to the back in the 2D window. Come back to 3D window, right click on it and flip horizontally. And that created the correct arrangement in the 2D window and the 3D window. So these will come together. So the only thing that is now left is sewing these two pattern pieces together. And I'm also just going to arrange it so it sews better when I'm ready for it. And we can come and do this in the 2D window. So in the 2D window, just grab a segment sewing tool and let's, let's do the sides. And then the other side, let it synchronize. And if you're not sure, you can always have 2D and 3D window open so to make sure that you're doing the correct sides. So. I can already see that the sewing here looks good and the sewing on this side is also good. And I also need to do this one. Let me just rotate here to make sure I'm doing the right sides. These two will come together. And also, you could also do this in the 2D window and the 3D window, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're selecting the correct segments. And let's see now if I can grab this and if I need to adjust anything and just help it a little more, when you're ready, click simulate and watch the skirt come together. Now you can also select all of these pieces and strengthen them before, or if you've already simulated, you can do it again. So I'm gonna grab all of these pattern pieces, right click, strengthen, and then simulate again. And when you're ready, you can unstrengthen the pattern pieces. This waistband, uh, it looks like it's a little large. And now we need to uh, finish this by creating flat surfaces. So for that, we need to select all of the pattern pieces, all of the sewing lines around the waistband in the property editor just select the lines and do turned lines and that will flatten all of our lines now simulate one more time and that will create perfectly flat lines and that is our pleated skirt